long overdue indie update video. Time for a long overdue, I think I'm overdue to give you guys an indie update. <sighs> oh boy, oh boy, oh, I feel crooked. So, so, I think I'm overdue to give you guys an indie update video. She's uh, gotta be five, five months in a week now, five and a half months. Just out here uh, for a hike. Nice sunny late March, almost afternoon now. It's supposed to be like 10 degrees today. You probably see in the background there's still some snow out here. Got the Mini 14 with me as always. Keep those coyotes under control. And we're just going to do a little tour. At, uh, a 200 acre perimeter walk here. Got a new <clears throat> little piece of tech. My buddy lent me a gimbal he just got. It's the ZH Zhiyun, Z H I Y U N or something like that. Smooth 4. It uh, is only for mobile phones. It's a Bluetooth connected gimbal device. I'll show it to you guys in a minute. So I'm gonna have my, I got a Samsung A8, which isn't a, I think it's a 1080, 1080p 30 frames camera is the best resolution frame rate you can get out of it. So I'm going to play with that. There'll be a little bit of weird looking footage. It's probably not quite the same as the DSLR, but somewhere in between my DSLR and the Go, the uh, action cam. See how that works. Play around with that. Exercise these dogs. And uh, maybe if there's any coyotes around that are stupid enough to come out into sight, and we'll shoot a coyote. Probably not though. Extremely unlikely. Not really actively hunting. Just kind of a passive. Don't come out here without a rifle, but yeah, I'm all licensed up, obviously. I just, uh, I'm legal to be doing this. As always, I, uh, <laughs> to the best of my knowledge and ability, stay within the confines of our questionable firearms laws and uh, control system, whatever you want to call it. Bullshit. That's all it is. Now I've got, I guess I'll ramble here for a second. You guys are probably used to me talking. I gotta switch arms. I'm having some neck problems this winter. I was doing snow removal up until about three weeks ago and I just really buggered up my, my neck. So my, my left arm is in great shape and I'm a little, little worse for wear right now. Anyways, I digress. There have been some comments on my Crownland shooting video. And again, I am not a lawyer. It is your responsibility to make sure you are complying with it whenever you're using firearms in Canada. That being said, I've had some comments on my Crownland video uh, regarding shooting on public property in Canada. Now the way the law is written, it states you may not legally discharge, not verbatim here, but very close. You cannot legally discharge a firearm in Canada on a regular basis. That is the key, on a regular basis for the purpose of target practice or competition training. Other than at a legal range. Now, what most people get grasped from that is you can't shoot a gun on Crown land, you can't shoot a rifle, non-restricted or restricted regardless, on your own property, regularly. What is the definition of regular? Well, if you look it up in Webster's, uh, routine, scheduled, there's whatever, you know what regular is. Legally, how is that defined? There is no case law currently in Canada regarding discharge of firearms uh, at a non-approved range in a regular manner. There has never been a court case and there is no case law regarding uh, target shooting on public or private land. So until there is, that is just basically another gray area in our legal system. And my interpretation of that is that the most legal way you can recreationally discharge a rifle 
is irregularly at different locations on Crown land. Nobody could say you are going to an unapproved range on a regular basis, training for competition, when you're in a different location every time, randomly shooting in the bush. There's nothing regular about that. So the way our law is written, and the way I interpret it is, as long as you aren't on a scheduled, routine system for target practice, sighting in your rifles, whatever, as long as you just go out randomly and shoot, I hope that's pointed at me, you're fine. <laughs> and until there is a court case and case law or they change the way that is written, we are left living in the gray once again as gun owners in Canada. And I mean, people are commenting saying they've had this is what the RCMP told them. This is what I've heard in the gun course when I took my PAL or my hunting course. <clears throat> that it's, it's, they just, they go above and beyond. They skip all the confusing shit, any of the gray area, and they just say no. That covers their asses and it keeps people that aren't willing to do the research and it, I'm not saying I'm coming up with my own interpretation of the law, in a way I guess you are, but it's left open to interpretation the way it's written. It's not our fault. <laughs> the people that wrote this shit just didn't have a clue, didn't really think ahead with any of our firearms laws, period. It was just a, a knee-jerk reaction, as most of them usually are, to pacify ignorant people. So it's up to you at the end of the day, as I said, to understand these laws, shoot responsibly, represent the community in a professional, ethical, law-abiding light, I guess. That's what we're supposed to be, right? So we are, we get the background checks, we jump through the hoops. We obey the laws, put the locks on our guns, keep them in safes, get the ATTs. We are the law-abiding, vetted, gun-owning public of Canada. And I mean, the state, the world is in these days, it's turbulent, and our rights as gun owners to enjoy our hobbies freely, to recreate as we wish, ordinary people with an extraordinary hobby. Well, they are, they're trying to take that away from us. You can look at it however you want. If you're a hunter that only has a bolt action rifle, or if you're a sport shooter, competitive shooter that runs black ARs, we're all in it, guys. You say whatever you want. You can be a hunter that doesn't believe in handguns, we're all headed down the same path. It ain't a good one. If you have kids or grandkids that you want to pass this sport on to, <sighs> we have to stand together on this or we're gonna lose it all. And me personally, I want to teach my kids how to shoot and how to hunt. <sighs> well, that probably turned into a 15 minute chat halfway through this walk now and I haven't even shown you Indy. I think that's about how the last Indy video went. So I'm gonna put the DSLR away and I'll get my uh, get the gimbal out and my phone and we'll play around with that for a while. Anyways guys, stay safe out there if you're hunting. Be responsible. Represent our community in good light and have fun. Probably gonna stop on the way back, take a couple shots with the rifle, and uh, keep Indy on the track of professional gun dog. Keep working on that stuff with her. We'll see you guys after. We're gonna enjoy the rest of this walk. Cheers.
This is a gimbal. I've never seen one before. Pretty nifty little piece of tech. Let's play with it. 80-30. Say hello to big girl Indy. Oh dear. Yeah, why well you always gotta come towards the camera? Hmm? There's a big girl. Big girl Indy. What are you doing, you little nugget? What are you doing, you crazy nugget? There we go. Yeah, she's come a long way since the last video. Hey, puppy. Sit. What a good girl. Stay, stay. Oh, you're fidgety. You're fidgety girl. Yes, there she is. She's very fidgety. Yeah, she's been a great pup. Couple of chews. She chewed the door frame yesterday at the house. That wasn't good. But for the most part, for her age, she is a really good dog. There's the puppies. These are the days we've been waiting for all winter. Tell you what, this pup loves being outside. Oh boy, that's an icy, icy little spot. That's what I'm liking this gimbal. Pretty neat, but I think I'd have to upgrade my phone if I was going to use these. 108030 is okay, but I want 108060. The old trestle bridge. This is a convenient little spot to have at the back of your property. Careful, girl. Watch your step. Hey, hey, Indy. Indy. What are you doing? Come here, come here. Jesus Christ. You dummy. Come up on here. Come here. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to where you're stepping. Little goof. You come up on here. Come on. Come up. Fruit doesn't mind it. Come on, girl. Don't figure it out. As I was saying, it's a great little thing to have at the back of your property. Indy, careful, careful. Hey, hey, slow down. Come here, come here. Yeah, good girl. Slow, slow girl. There you go. <laughs> Doofus. I don't know about this bridge, Dad. I don't know about this bridge. It's okay, girl. Take your time. It's a good lesson in puppiness. Don't go slow. As I was saying, she's had enough of this. Brew doesn't mind it. Now Brew Man's got it figured out. Hey Brew, come on girl, nice and slow, it's okay. Good puppy. Slow, 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 it's okay, okay. Come, 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 come here, come. 
Come here. Yeah, come. It's okay. Come, come. You're okay, girl. Slow, slow, slow. Yeah, we had some trespassers come across here a few years ago. Poached a deer in the back, not on our property, but on the neighbors. And uh, they were bringing it back across here in a wheelbarrow. The guy and his son, and I guess their youngest was on his way out in the dark with a loaded shotgun. Coming across the bridge here, saw his dad and the older brother with the deer in the wheelbarrow coming towards him. He didn't know what it was, so he shot him. <laughs> so that was fucking awesome. We got idiots coming back here, trespassing, poaching deer, shooting each other. It's great for the gun community as a whole, and also, you know, that's in your backyard. Anyways, let's get this silly pup off the bridge here. It's okay, girl. Nice and slow, puppy. Come on, Brew. Good girl. Yeah, she figured it out after a couple slips. Come on, buddy. Shenzi never liked walking on grating either. She would do the same thing here. She'd walk on the bridge. This is her first time. I know it looks rough, but it's her first time on <laughs> the trestle bridge. I used to come out here with Shenzi all the time and she had it figured. And she just had to slip a couple of times until she figured out that there's gaps here. She's got to watch her step. Good girl. What a good puppy. What a good puppy. Come on, let's go. Back into the normal stuff now. Whoops. Hard to keep that point at yourself. The hills are alive with the sound of music. <sighs> Just like the mountains of Austria. So close. So close to the Austrian Alps. Pretty sure that's where that movie took place, right? The Alps. Hey, little puppet. Here she comes. Here she comes. Good girl. Hi, puppy, puppy. Hi, puppy, puppy. Boy, little pee. She's quite the little little piddler, little nervous, excited, submissive peas. I'm sure she'll grow out of that. I'm hoping anyway. Come on puppy. All right, so I wasn't really planning on shooting today, but I happened to have a target in my backpack. We got the rifle here and it's good to keep Indy uh, up on the rifle, gun dog training regiment. So this is the first time I've shot a center fire rifle with her. I shot a shock 12 gauge a few times, the 22 the first time we were out. So we're going center fire 223 with a supersonic load. This is uh, about as loud as it gets. Sitting on my bag. It's about as loud as it gets for uh, rifles. I mean you get up into the 300 wind mags, yeah it's a bit louder but it's uh, a <clears throat> center fire caliber. Not a huge caliber, but we're supersonic, so it's about as loud as it gets, good as it gets for training. Mini 14 here. Come here, Brew. Come on, buddy. Brew man's good. He'll just stay right here. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Actually, let's just get you right behind me. Good boy. Come here. Andy, come here. Come here, little girl. This side, right here. Right here. Come. Come. Good girl. Good. Okay. You sit right there. Okay. Lie down. You lie down. You lie down. So she's probably going to be startled by this. I don't have any ear pro. I'm going to take three aimed shots. I've got that paper target down there. Might as well see what I can achieve accuracy wise. I don't think I can wrap that sling. It's not quite long enough. Let me get into as comfortable a position as I can here. This is what I usually do with the mag. The mag and the rifle. Let's screw it up my arm placement here. That's what I usually do with my 700. So, pushing around. I just want to get myself bench resty type stable. It'll be a little freehand. We're not going for sniper school here. Okay, Indy, you ready? Hey, you stay. Good girl, stay.
three shots. I might have to pause in between just to get her back under control. Let's see how it goes. Stay, girl. Oh boy. That is a small target. Only about uh, maybe 60 yards. Good girl. Come here. Come. Come. Lie down. Come. Hey. Come. Come. Good. Good. Yes. Good girl. Come lie down again, please. Here. Here. Good puppy. Good. That's a good girl. Okay. Lie down. Lie down. Two more. Lie down. Yes. Lie down. Good. You stay. Stay, girl. Hey, no, down. Stay, good pup. I think she's watching the brass fly over her head. Stay. That's three. That's all we're doing today. Clear. Throw this guy back in there. Jesus. These are soft points. The Mini 14 is only supposed to, it's really designed to feed full metal jacket rounds. Um, the soft points get a little mucked in the action there going through. So that one chambered in, it's a semi. I gotta pull it out of the chamber when I'm clearing the gun. And uh, you can see the lead on the front of it is cleaned right off down to, into the hollow point. <laughs> Let's go check out that target. Shut this off. Right here. Oh, focus that. Yeah, I felt I can see one went high over the right side there. You can see the impact right there in the bank. And then two, boom, boom. Right on top of each other almost. So that thing. A little bit to the right, which is probably me, because I just don't shoot as much as I would like to, especially in this friggin' country. One of these days I'll get a range membership and I'll be able to go on a regular basis. 